Ever wondered if there's a computing system that works differently than your regular digital computers? Let's delve into the world of analog computing. This unique system does not deal with zeros and ones, but rather it operates on a continuous flow of information. It's like comparing a digital snapshot to an ongoing film reel, each frame representing a different data point. Analog computers, unlike digital ones, operate on continuous values, painting a different picture of the computing world. Journey back to the pre-digital era, when analog computers were the trailblazers. Long before the advent of digital technology, the world witnessed the birth of analog computing. These were not the sleek high-speed machines we know today. They were complex mechanical devices, crafted with precision and ingenuity. Let's introduce you to the Antikythera mechanism, often hailed as the world's first analog computer. Discovered in the depths of the Aegean Sea, this intricate device was used over 2,000 years ago to predict astronomical positions and eclipses. Then, there's the astrolabe, another ancient marvel. This tool, used by astronomers and navigators alike, allowed for the tracking of the sun and stars, facilitating navigation and the understanding of celestial patterns. These early machines may appear primitive to our modern eyes, but they laid the groundwork for the technology we rely on today. These early analog devices were the precursors to the sophisticated computing systems we have today. As time rolled on, so did the evolution of analog computing. The 19th and 20th centuries marked a significant period in the development of analog computers. In the midst of these advancements, several inventions stood out, each playing a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of computing. One such invention was the differential analyzer. This mechanical beast, born in the early 20th century, was a sight to behold. It was a large, room-filling machine, equipped with a complex system of gears and shafts. The differential analyzer was designed to solve differential equations, a task that was considered incredibly challenging at the time. It was a significant leap forward in the field of analog computing. The differential analyzer and other analog computers of its time found their place in a wide array of applications. They were utilized in scientific research, helping to solve complex equations and advance our understanding of the world around us. Scientists could now tackle problems that were once deemed unsolvable, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. The military was another area that greatly benefited from these devices. Analog computers were used to calculate trajectories and firing tables for artillery, significantly improving the accuracy of these weapons. They were also instrumental in the development of radar and sonar systems, providing real-time data processing that was crucial in the heat of battle. In the realm of industry, analog computers found a home in control systems. They were used to regulate and automate industrial processes, from managing power grids to controlling chemical reactions in factories. These machines helped pave the way for the modern era of automation, transforming industries and boosting productivity. As we look back at the evolution of analog computing, it's clear that these devices played a significant role in shaping our world. They were not just tools for calculation, but instruments of discovery and innovation. They pushed the boundaries of what was possible, paving the way for future advancements. The analog computers of this era were instrumental in propelling the world into the age of automation and advanced scientific discovery. The advent of digital computing marked a decline in the use of analog systems, but the story doesn't end there. As the 20th century progressed, digital computing began to take center stage. The reasons were manifold. Digital systems offered increased accuracy, ease of programming, and a level of consistency that was difficult for analog to match. These systems were binary, dealing in absolutes of zeros and ones, which made them less prone to errors and more reliable for complex calculations. However, in the grand pendulum swing of technology, we're witnessing an intriguing comeback of analog computing. Why, you might ask? Well, it turns out that for certain types of problems, especially those that involve continuous data or variables, analog systems can be more efficient. Think about it. Our world isn't binary. It's filled with shades of gray, not just black and white. This is where analog computing shines, in handling the subtleties, the nuances, the in-betweens. It can process a wider range of values, making it potentially more adaptive and flexible. Moreover, analog computers are incredibly fast. They can perform computations in parallel, simultaneously processing multiple pieces of information. This makes them particularly suited for tasks involving real-time processing or complex simulations. 
In essence, the resurgence in analog computing is not about discarding digital, but about finding the right balance. It's about leveraging the strengths of both systems to solve the complex problems of our world. In the world of computing, what's old may just become new again. In a digital-dominated world, where does analog computing fit in? This is a question that's been echoing in the tech world for some time now. Today, analog computing is making a resurgence, finding its place in a myriad of applications. Take quantum computing, for instance, where analog computation plays a vital role. It helps in creating qubits, units of quantum information which are the foundation of this futuristic technology. Then there's the field of neural networks, where the inherent parallelism of analog computing allows for more efficient processing. Analog computing also proves its mettle when it comes to solving complex differential equations. The speed and accuracy it offers in these calculations are unparalleled. But perhaps the most intriguing aspect of analog computing lies in its potential to work alongside digital systems. Combining the strengths of both could lead to unprecedented advancements in technology. As we move forward, the boundaries between analog and digital may become increasingly blurred. As technology continues to evolve, the analog-digital divide may blur, leading to a future where the two systems coexist and complement each other.